once again, it's um, a great privilege to meet with my dear friend and experts um, on the internet marketing who have a lot of experience and expertise where you work with businesses, showing them the trick, the tactics, and the strategies to generate more income, grow their sales, get more clients using online strategy. And his name is Martin Brown, and today is a very, very powerful topic we'll talk about today. These days, a lot of people are using videos to promote their business, to get attention, generate lead. And there are some people who do not want to put their face on the video. So if you are either want to use your face on a video, you don't want to use your face on a video, Martin got some good news for you today. So I will be asking Martin about the reason to use short faceless video for your business. Martin, please tell us about it. Yes, Abe, with promotional material for businesses online, there's a plethora of things you can do, but the one that's really attracting attention at the moment because it's so effective is making short videos promoting aspects of your business. It, it can be uh, your, for your products and for your services, of course, and you can use them internally as well for training and things like this. Um, but an awful lot of people don't want to show their face because they're either shy or there's just no need to is it for personal reasons. So short faceless videos in business are the answer. So you've got your anonymity. You've got where you it allows you to focus actually to remain uh, on the message or the product. So uh, instead of you being the talent, it's what you're presenting. And so it's the product and the message and not the individual. So it's ideal for those uncomfortable being on camera or wanting to maintain the privacy. It's got wider appeal as well. All the marketing online, you'll notice on the various platforms, social media, etc. There's certain types of video they're going for at the moment in 2024 and have been for quite a while which is the short, sharp video, very well edited. So it's got wider appeal in that case because so many people are searching for this material and taking in the content and acting on it, for better or for worse. But sometimes it can attract a broader audience as viewers may relate more to the content than to a specific person. And it's suitable for diverse markets and demographics as well. So it's cost-effective. And I love these low cost, no cost solutions. So, so it's cost effective. It's generally cheaper to produce since there's no need for professional actors or extensive setups. It can be created with simple tools and software, saving on production costs and the versatility as well. It can be used across various platforms, social media, webs websites and ads uh, with relative ease. It's adaptable for multiple purposes like tutorials, product demos, and informational content. And one of FA's favorite, the focus on key elements, highlight products, services, or important information without the distractions. So it ensures the audience's attention is on the content, increasing comprehension and retention. And finally, the ease of production, the it's faster to produce as they can utilize animations, text, and stock footage. And there's less time consuming compared to arranging shoots and going out and managing on-screen talent, et cetera. And so there are also lots of benefits as well. That's great. So using Fistless video compared to actually using the person's video, in terms of connecting with the audience, which do you think is more preferable? Is it the faceless video or the actual face of whoever is presenting on the video? The, at the moment, people seem to be taking more notice of the faceless video when it's some sort of promotion or presentation or uh, some sort of help video. Uh, whatever video it is, they're the ones that are getting the views and that's what you need. So that's what you should be doing. I think if you've got a membership site or something, where you invite people in and they need to, to know you, the person. Suppose you're offering something like a membership scheme or uh, along those lines, then you would probably need to be seen 
but not necessarily if you're that shy person that doesn't want to be seen, you can always have a representative on your behalf that you appear in, but you don't need to do the presenting. My far, my ultimate answer on these situations is if you're selling a product and it's about you and it's your brand and your name, then you need to be appearing. But I know there are so many, it's tens of thousands, of even millions of people that just can't get on camera. It is worth persevering and getting involved. But as these faceless videos are so popular and they're short and easy to make, then it's well worth getting involved because the benefits in your business are they're endless. You, you do get increased engagement because short engaging videos are more likely to be watched entirely and shared and commented on and keeps the audience interested with concise and to the point content. So you can still have that without you appearing and your brand awareness is improved anyway, whether you're on there or not. Yeah. Yeah. So with, with that, because it's a very good uh, marketing tool. And no one thing about marketing is people who know how to do it right, to do it right. I will do it wrong, to do it wrong. And the mistake with a lot of people promoting a business, either using faceless video or face video, whatever, is they tend to promote the features and not the benefits of their products or services. So in this faceless view, the what should one focus on regarding the content? Is it more on the benefits or more on the features? I tend to say at the start of the video, what's going to be in it. And if what is going to be in it is benefiting the person that's watching, they will stay tuned or they will go through your chapter listing and click on the one that you're mentioning that interests them. So how you can mention features, but people don't relate to them necessarily because it can do amazing things that they can't relate to. So I would say the benefits. So you can mention uh, that this hi-fi has got two speakers, therefore the stereo sound is better. And therefore you, the listener, because you've got two ears, it sounds 100% better than listening out of one. Now, oh, there's a benefit there. I'll buy this with two speakers rather than one because it benefits me. So they're going to uh, be the, the potential customer. So you can mention features, but without the benefits, I think you're treading on dangerous ground of getting any conversions. You do need to tell them how it will work for them. Great. Okay, that's good. Is this something you can help people do? Is this one of the services you're providing a business model? Uh, yes, it is. It never used to be, but uh, I've been, since the 1990s, I've been working online, uh, promoting various businesses. And as time goes by, video has crept in and it was a little bit difficult to do. It was expensive to do. Now it's not. There are software as a service products available where you can sign in online, enter text, and your video will be formed in front of you. And so it's easy to do, and most people will be capable of doing it. However, if you're running a busy business and you need to be in it and you need to be working on it, then I will do promotional videos for clients and they tell me what they want. They look at the end result. We edit and then put it out there. So yes, I can. Martinbrown.com is the place to go and I can help you with it. Just simply click on the link and um, we'll have a discovery call, which is absolutely free. Awesome. So, so yeah, I can help boost your conversion rates. I can give you SEO benefits. And we can adapt, it's adaptable for all your marketing campaigns. So I would say in a nutshell, incorporating short faceless videos into businesses marketing strategy can lead to higher engagement, improved brand perception and a better overall performance in digital spaces. So yes, go for it. That's great. So go for it. Martin over the liver when he said his client. So Martin, thank you so much. This has been a very powerful subject matter. And I believe people who are listening to this, either the replay, they will hang on it and use it. If you need help, reach out to Martin and he will over deliver and help you grow your business. Bye-bye now.